Well, um, the assuming that uh, our party uh, wins uh, uh, these elections, uh, the decision of our party is that the old generation uh, would retire over the uh, course of the next term of parliament uh, and that I would oversee uh, the uh, uh, retirement. The succession, but what about yourself? I will be uh, one of those who would retire uh, over, the, uh, over the period of uh, the next term. When? Uh, at the end of the next term. Will these elections be free, fair and peaceful? The government uh, has put in place all the necessary checks, balances and mechanisms, rules, regulations, uh, to make sure that these elections are uh, fair, free and peaceful. Uh, and to a certain extent, part of the opposition. Are you suggesting that, that the, the coalition of Medrek is not intending the elections to be peaceful? This grouping has refused to sign uh, the uh, code of conduct of the parties. Uh, that code of conduct, as you might have heard, was um, uh, uh, prepared by an international organization called IDEA and its best practice. You didn't take on other, other parts of that uh, best practice, did you? For instance, uh, observers, you're not allowing Western diplomats or indeed any diplomats from going outside Addis Ababa during the election period. I know that some uh, diplomats in uh, Addis are offended when they are told they cannot do that, uh, but, uh, but I am sure it's not best practice, it's not internationally accepted best practice. At the moment you only have a total of something like 170 EU observers and 80 AU observers for 44,000 polling stations. That's always the case in elections, they do not have to cover every polling station to get a feel for what is happening. The opposition argues it would sweep to power if the ruling party stopped intimidating and jailing its members. What do you say to that? No independent observer has said, I have observed such and such acts of intimidation. No one. All of them report allegations of intimidation and by some magic wand transform these allegations into facts. There's already been violence ahead of the poll, hasn't there? Because Medrick are claiming that uh, two of six people killed, uh, murdered, are theirs, uh, while your party says it has had one candidate killed and a policeman murdered. All of this violence is, is, uh, is uh, regrettable, uh, but uh, compared to the size of the country and compared to the uh, intensity of the elections, um, I don't think this is unheard of.